Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I finally hit a thousand subscribers. I'm so grateful and happy that you guys decided to follow me and I thought it would be the perfect time to do a get to know me video and answer a few little fun questions so all the new followers can get to know me and for whoever wants to start following next, they can get to know me as well. So yeah, I thought it was a good time. So here I am. Are you going to read the questions for me? <laughs> Kidding. I'm going to read my own questions and I'm going to be answering my own questions because obviously I am a new one. Alright, let's get to it. So these questions I just found some random online on Google. I just compiled a few of them. I didn't count how many they are, so they're going to be like super random and might be a lot. We'll see. Full name. My full name is Jennifer Morjohn and you can also pronounce my last name Morejon in Spanish. A lot of people actually give me shit about it. Um, I'm going to pronounce my, own, my last name however I want to pronounce it. Morjohn is how you pronounce it in English. Whether I decide to use more John or more home, that's up to me. I hate when people ask me, why do you pronounce your last name like that? Because I want to pronounce it like that. Like, I don't understand what the problem is, but where are you from? I am from Miami, Florida, born and raised in Miami, more specifically, Hialeah in slums. No, I'm kidding. Um, I also grew up there, obviously. Um... What do you do for a living? I am a news reporter at a local TV station in South Georgia. Um, let's see, what is your biggest fear? All right, just jumping right into it. <laughs> My biggest fear is not making it in life and not achieving the goals that I want to achieve. And my main goal was always my career and luckily I was able to achieve that. But before that, before I was able to achieve my goal for my career, um, I was like very scared that I was like never gonna make it and always had like a lot of self-doubt and stuff and it was sad but honestly if you put your mind to it work hard for what you want you will achieve your goals what is the most important thing in your life family Duh. what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender hmm funny story when my mom was pregnant with me um, in the sonograms I never like opened my legs so they always thought I was a boy because from what I've heard boys tend to not really open their legs but I feel like all oh, babies open their legs but whatever for some reason I just did not open my legs so they were never able to tell the sex um, so my mom always thought I was a boy everything she bought was for a boy like decorations room toys everything was for a boy so she was going to name me um, I think it was Christian or Christopher those were her names and when I was born, she took a surprise. It was, congrats, a baby girl. And she just named me Jennifer from the top of her head, like Jennifer Lopez. Oh well. Um, let's see what else. Favorite color. My favorite color is royal blue. Favorite food. I love all type of food. Chinese, Japanese, Mexican, Italian, everything. But I think Mexican holds... A very special place in my heart quesadillas fire do you have any siblings yes i have a little brother who is not so little he is 18 years old and then i have two half siblings by my dad's side which is an older sister and an older brother what is your favorite vacation destination i feel like everywhere i've traveled i've loved um nevada I love nevada I love las vegas I love vegas um i love jamaica jamaica was so fun Spain, specifically Barcelona. I do not have a specific one that I love yet, but one day I will. What is your favorite music genre? Well, I am a big fan of the 2000s, Airbnb, hip hop, love the old jams, um, love reggaeton, love old school reggaeton, Spanish trap, San Manuel, Bad Bunny. Anything perreo, anything you can dance to, that's my shit. Um, love me some bachatica. And yeah, 
Ooh, and I love like old rock as well. Like, I don't know why I always say like Linkin Park. When I'm talking about rock, I just always say Linkin Park. No, there's more than Linkin Park. Um, there's other bands that I like, but I forgot their names. I like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, I like. Uh, <laughs> Oh, this in Chasing Cars. Is it Chasing Cars? I think it's Chasing Cars. Um, the reason I forgot the name of that guy who sings it. Nickelback, Nickelback. Lips of an Angel. I don't know those jams. All right, what else? What is your favorite quote? My favorite quote and the most used one. I think it's going to be. It is what it is. I think it's a little better than that. Um. What goes around comes around. Uh, dreams don't work unless you do. I feel like there's a lot of like quotes or like mantras that I use, but I think the main one, I don't know why I always say just like, it is what it is. Something in crappy happens, it is what it is. It's not even a quote, but I think it's a mantra. Um, what else? Favorite food, I think I answered that. Are you a good cook? No, not. Sometimes my food comes out good when I decide to get creative and play around in the kitchen. Sometimes our creativity leads to a disaster, but other times it's pretty good. Um, do you have pets? I have a little puppy. Well, he's not a puppy, he's grown. Um, his name is Jax. I named, it, named him after Sons of Anarchy. Um, when I got him, I was like watching the series and I was obsessed. And I still am one of the greatest series of all times. And he currently lives at home with my parents. Um, what language do you speak? Um, I speak Spanish and English, very fluent in both, kind of, sort of. I get stuck here and there in my Spanish and I get stuck in my English too. I don't think I'm fluent in either or, but <laughs> those are the two that I know. Um, let's see. If you can have any job, um, that is not what you have. What would it be? What would you want to be? Um, I've always been a fan of like true crime and like investigation, FBI, CIA, um, detective work, and like all of that field, that genre. Um, so I feel like if I wasn't a news reporter, I would definitely would have studied something dealing with investigation and probably like government stuff. Yeah, true crime is my shit. Um, what else? Investigations, love it. Tell us your bad habits. My bad habit <laughs> is putting 20 alarms to wake up and when they ring, I ignore each and every one of them. So I end up being late to wherever I had to go. Um, it's definitely a bad habit, I'm working on it. Have I succeeded? I have not, but I'm working on it. Another bad habit is that I have the tendency to put LOL in every sentence. Even if I'm like arguing with someone, I'll still throw an LOL. Like I'm always sprinkling LOLs everywhere and it's a little annoying. Like I annoy myself when I see it and I'm working on it, but it's a work in progress. What else? What is your happy place? My happy place is being in the ocean on a beautiful day in a bikini listening to some good music hanging out with friends and that is my ideal of a perfect day as well who was your first celebrity crush my first celebrity crush i would have to say was that guy from because obviously you know disney channel and high school musical um and i remember social media which would be like myspace back in the day um my name was like Jennifer Efron. I feel like that's the name I would use for all like my emails or like all, I can't say all social media, but like anything that I had to make an account online, I would be Jennifer Efron. What is at the top of your bucket list? Fun fact, I only have one thing in my bucket list and that thing actually happened. Um, I don't, I, I don't, I can't really share it, but well, I can share it if I wanted to, but I kind of don't want to um, for obvious reasons or whatever. But yeah, I have one thing on my bucket list to give you guys a hint. It was um, 
to hang out with this specific celebrity and it happened good times moving on um what else how difficult is it to be honest even when your words may be hurtful or unpopular honesty is very important to me and i am a very straight person and if i have a problem i will tell it straight up to your face how difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologize that is difficult for me i forgive but i don't forget and if there is a problem i would like that person to have the balls to come to me and apologize if they did me wrong and i like to like not have issues with anyone i like to have like clean state with everybody so i feel like if you did me wrong just speak to me about it have a clean slate you know move on i'm still gonna move on at the end of the day but <laughs> like i don't know like i just like to clear the air of everything if there is an issue and just be good and you know happy positive advice with everyone but i forgive but i don't forget how many tattoos do you have i have two favorite place you've traveled to i like every place i've traveled to there's the one what is the one item you can leave home without? My cell phone. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I am a night owl. Do you believe in love at first sight? I do not. What is the last book you read? Um, I'm actually reading one called Super Life by like Darren something, which is the guy, well he's the author, he's an author, and the guy from that new documentary was that guy from Netflix. I was inspired by the documentary, so I was like, let me read the book. So I began to read it. Haven't finished it but I'm working on it. What was the best news you've ever received? My job opportunity, of course. Um, what was the first ever cell phone you had? I had a little Nokia in elementary. What would you name your daughter and son if you had one? Chloe and Caleb, and if the baby daddy doesn't like it, too bad. What is the best part of your job? Best part of my job is meeting new people every single day, always having always means something new um i love that it's such a fast-paced environment i love to be busy moving from here to there i love that and i love telling stories if you inherited a hundred thousand dollars right now how would you spend it i will pay off all my credit cards up if you become a multi-millionaire overnight what would you buy i would buy a house for my parents a house for me and a house for my dad because my parents are divorced um and my house will be by the beach of course if you could eat lunch with one famous person, who would it be? Hmm. When I first read this question, I was like, hmm, Ian Somerhalder, for sure. But he is married, so if he wasn't, that would be my pick. But since he is, I think I'll save Jennifer Lopez. I think that would be a good, good dinner, good chat, good combos, right? I think so. Uh, da -da 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 -da. If you could go anywhere in the world or vacation, where would you go? Anywhere in Europe? Yes. What's the first thing you notice about people? Their vibes. I don't know why, but I feel like I have this gift that I can just tell if someone means well and if someone doesn't. Um, I think I'm really good at picking up vibes. I don't know if it's ever happened to like one of you guys that you don't know this person, like you're somewhere, whatever, like you don't know a specific person, but you just like get a bad vibe that you just don't want to be around that person and you just don't like that person but like there's no reason why because that person never did anything to you but it's just like the vibes you get that's me very big on the vibes i think i pick it up very well um let's see what's your zodiac sign scorpio halloween baby so if you could have any superhero power what would it be I feel like people for this question will probably say like read minds or whatever but I think that's very stressful and not a good superpower. Um, I think my superpower would probably be like flying, being able to fly, I could just fly anywhere, forget traffic, if I want to go home to Miami I could fly my ass to Miami, if I want to fly myself to vacation in the Caribbean I can fly myself to vacation in the Caribbean, I could just fly everywhere and anywhere, avoid airplanes, airports. Oh, but I'll take my luggage. Mm, yeah, I could probably. I can't make my luggage too heavy because then I can't fly. Or like a backpack. Yeah. Well, 
I got a travel light, that's for sure. Um, what else? Work, like teleportation skills. Ooh, I could teleport myself to places. Fly would be nice because you could like, you know, see everything from the top. But teleportation is even faster, so that's a good one too. Like that movie, Teleporter. I don't think it's called Teleporter. I forgot what it's called, but that movie with the with the cute guy, um, Hayden Christinier or something is his name. Teleport. Teleporter? Hmm. I'll find the name of it. I'll post it somewhere here, but that movie's good. Yep, like it. Except hopefully nobody's hunting me down, for sure. If there was a show you used to watch as a kid and would like to see it come back, what would it be? Totally Spies. That was my shit. Do you have your closet doors open and closed when you go to sleep? Close, of course. Can't have anything peeking out of there. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself being, of course, TV news reporter back at home or somewhere better, getting paid really good and having a beautiful home, beautiful apartment. If I'm in Miami, I would like to be somewhere downtown, but not so much where there's like traffic, don't like traffic, but a nice view of the ocean for sure. If I asked you to cook me dinner, what would you make? I would make pasta because it is very easy to cook and I think I make good pasta according to my brother. Um, what else? Hidden talent. I, Hmm, hit a talent. I can dance, I can dance for sample really good. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I just dance really good sample. Um, hobbies. My hobby is working out every single day. That's all I do, gym life. Um, and the blog, this blog right here, it's my hobby. Favorite way to pass time? Netflix, baby. Find something good to watch or not. Sometimes I just take something random and just watch it. Then realize I wasted two hours of my life. But hey, I needed a pass time, so there it was. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that is all. So that wraps it up. If you guys have any questions that you would like for me to answer so you get to know me a little bit better or whatever, any fun questions, leave it down below. I would love to answer for you guys. And what else? Once again, to all the new subscribers, welcome. I appreciate you guys for following me so much. And I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed or liked yet, please do so and follow me along my journey and my content.